Hi, today I'm going to show you guys how to find the surface area of composite figures. Now what's a composite figure? It's a figure that can be divided into more than one shape. And we're going to break the figure down, find the area of each shape, and then add them to find the total surface area. So, let's so we're going to start with an easy question and then we're going to move on to a harder question. So let's get started. The formula to find surface area of a cylinder, which is usually it's 2 pi r squared, but because we're only calculating one cylinder, it's pi r squared. The radius is 5 here, but first we're going to write down our formula, pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, and that is to find the body. Now we're going to substitute. So we're going to put the radius is 5 and the height is 20 centimeters and we're just going to calculate that. I'm going to save it into my memory so I get an exact answer in the end. 8, 5, blah, 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 and I'm going to save it into my memory. So I'm just going to put that sign. Now we're going to go ahead and find our second cylinder. Again, I'm not going to calculate the top circle like now, but I'm going to add the circle and then subtract the little circle from it to get the area around. So I use a different color here. So our same formula, pi r squared plus two pi r h. And then we're gonna add the top circle, but we're gonna subtract the little circle from it to get the area around. First I'm going to substitute some real numbers as I did above. So the di diameter given is 15 so half of that would be the radius which is 7.5 and the height is 12 centimeters. My answer for the second cylinder is 840.37. Da -da -da. I'm going to save that into my memory and then I'm going to go ahead and on the side I'm going to add this to this. So I've got my calculator here on my first memory and then add my second then 1547.23 to two decimal places. So as you can see this figure is composed of a trapezium prism and a rectangular prism. So we're going to start by calculating the trape surface area of the trapezium prism. So let's break this figure down. This figure is composed of two trapeziums. We're going to write all our given information. This is going to come in handy when we're calculating the surface area. So now we're going to put our formulas in. So the formula of finding, um, for finding the surface area of the trapezium is a plus b over 2 times height. And since there's two of that, we multiply that by 2. So that's 2 plus 5 over 2 times 2. And then we add the rectangular area. And you find the area of a rectangle by multiplying the width times the length. So that's 6 times 25 and 6 times 2. Your answer is 56 centimeters squared. Don't forget to box that answer. Now moving on to our rectangular prism. This figure is composed of rectangles, so it should be easy. Um, we have two rectangles, one in the front, one in the back. We have two identical ones on the side, and we have one base rectangle. So write down our given measurements. Now we're not going to calculate the one on the top because that's internal, and it is we're not part of the surface area because it's not on the surface. So the area is found by multiplying the width by the length, so that's 3 times 5, and multiply it by 2 because there's two rectangles. And then you calculate your area. And our answer is 96 centimeters squared. Now I'm gonna go to the corner here and add this and this over here in the corner. I'm gonna use my green marker. And I'm going to write total because we're, this is the total surface area. So you add 56 to 96 
And your answer is 152 centimeters squared. Thanks for watching. I hope that my examples were helpful.